And joining us via Skype from Columbus, Ohio, is Emily, author of Secrets of the Sacred Heart, the book that Bishop was just holding. Uh, Emily, thank you so much for being with us. How are you doing today? Well, thank you. I'm super excited to be here today. And this book is actually a fruit of a lot of the, the love given to me from my parents, a devotion passed on, um, the love of the Sacred Heart. And the, the, my goal with this book is to help people to reclaim this love in their life and to not only reclaim it, live it, and then share it to others. So big, bold mission with this little tiny book. <laughs> well, we're thrilled you with, you've been us, with us before, so it's good to have you back. Welcome back. You have an authentic devotion to the Sacred Heart as the executive director of the Sacred Heart Enthronement Center. Tell us what an enthronement is and a bit about the work of the center. Sure. First, I'll tell you again, I'm a mom of seven children. So one of the things in family life is we need strong devotions to help re-ignite our devotion and love to, to God. And I love this devotion because it does set hearts on fire. So enthronement is really the simple act of really reclaiming a space for Jesus to be present, placing um, him on a throne. So the image is placed on the wall with reverence and respect. And it's such an opportunity for the family to have a new beginning. That's what I absolutely love about enthronement. It was first introduced around 1907 by Father Matteo, who saw this wave of secularism and materialism attacking the Catholic family. So he wanted to come up with an idea, enthronement, which is rooted right in the promises of the Sacred Heart back from 1670 from St. Margaret Mary Alico, where Jesus tells her that there's special graces when his heart is exposed in honor. So that's your quick update from um, why it's so important to enthrone, because ultimately Jesus wants to expose so that he can heal our homes, our hearts, our nation. So um, it's just a, a beautiful work that I'm allowed to be a part of. I'm privileged to be a part of. I think that's what I was getting at, Emily, when I was talking about homes having a an image of the Sacred Heart. I guess it was the enthronement. I just didn't, I didn't have the word. I couldn't get the word. So thank you for that. And the book takes a, a specific focus on those 12 ways to claim uh, the promises of Jesus. How is the book actually structured to foster this ancient practice in the 21st century? Well, a lot of the work I do at um, our website is called welcomeisheart.com. Is we saw that a lot of people were intimidated by this devotion, intimidated by the heart of Jesus, feeling this unworthiness. And the truth is, is Jesus is offering us His love. So the um, the book is structured in twelve simple chap twelve simple chapters in which you can go through personal devotion. You know, a lot of people take the book to adoration, for example, and looking at each promise. The first promise. I will give them all their graces necessary for their state in life. So we claim, you know, we, we talk about that promise. We also talk about the scripture that pertains to that promise, because as you know, devotions point us back to our faith, the, the fullness of our faith. And then I give you some points to ponder, because the key to my, my book title is that you claim that these promises in your life, that you choose to live them out, and you see what the Lord's offering you by living out an authentic Christian Catholic relationship in faith life. So it's um, it's a lot in that little power pack book, but the fruits have been really amazing. People have told me firsthand that their their life has been transformed from reintroducing the Sacred Heart into their family, into their life, and and taking that step forward. I have to tell you, Emily, I'm amazed at one thing: with seven kids during COVID, that we have not seen one of them running behind you somehow. <laughs> Well, thanks be to God, our Catholic schools, all seven of my children go to Catholic schools, are back in school here in Columbus, Ohio. So it does give me that ability to, um, to have a little quiet time in my house. <laughs> and that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, finding good peace thing. in our homes and safe refuge is both life and death, uh, um, in both life and death, is enough to sell many of us on the devotion. Um, where can people find out more about this, about your work, and how to get a copy of the book? Well, one of the things we do is we have a beautiful website at welcomehisheart.com. They can get access to the book. They can get access to the materials that 
promote enthronement and just an introduction. This past year alone, we've had 44 people representative in 44 states, not not 44 people, 44 states in which people um, have chosen to do the enthronement. So it's definitely statewide and also international. So I'm very excited to introduce people to the idea of enthronement and this beautiful devotion. Emily, it's always a pleasure. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks, Emily. Well, thank you. Have a great day. God bless you and your family.